Alright, so I'm here with, well, introduce yourself. You, you um, can. I'm Eric Bloom. So, what, 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 what do you do, Eric? Um, I fly model airplanes. <laughs> what do you do with model oh, airplanes? Oh, science Olympiad. Okay. So, so show us your, show us your model box. Oh, um, this is our model box. Um, it, it kind of looks like, you know, like one of those boxes where they pull out like a gun. And, <laughs> and then like this is so You're from California. You're not supposed to know that. <laughs> <laughs> Here's our, here's our planes, um, we made four of them, so, um, should I? Yeah, go ahead and pull one out, let's, let's just do a, a quick, so, um, quick thing. So these are, uh, these are J&H Aerospace Protégés. Um, Super Yeah, thank you, honey. Super Protégés. And so Eric has built these, and you used the, uh, I, I showed him how to do the European style airfoil, so it's wedged from like about there forward um, and that's it and then he just sanded the undersides of the wings so that they're about the same thickness as the flaps and so I think these are all what about 4.1 4.2 grams something like that 4.1 4.2 grams all right what's your best flight with one of these so far uh, well um, in a 27 er, 26. 26 foot roof. Uh, I got 24 seconds. Which is is uh, that's um that's equal to my best time in that site as well. So. <laughs> so let's so the the way this works is uh, what we've got is the stinger grips plug into little slots in the foam back here, and then you slip the noses in sideways. And so the, the purpose of this is to keep the, um, the flaps, tail surfaces, everything out of contact with the foam. And it looks like we did have a couple of these slips, so we'll want to make sure they're secure beforehand. Um, yeah, but okay. we'll, we'll play around with that a little more. What we probably are going to have to do is take another, create another one of these right here that, uh, that it'll slot into. And there's plenty of foam left to do that. So, um, so anyway... Just thought I'd, thought I'd let y'all take a look at that. Um. Alright, so what do we have here? Uh, this is my launcher. Um, so basically it has two... Um, what are these called again? The technically... Pro they're protractors, basically. Protractors, yeah. Uh, protractors, and then you're able to slide them back and forth. Um, and full disclosure, these are from the, uh, the what, what is it, the Freedom Flight? Uh, Freedom Flight models. Okay. Yeah. So, so what's your what's your hat trick, your your modification to make this the most awesomest launcher ever? Okay, so usually when you launch, it's kind of like, um, it's like, uh, I, I guess this is near level, but I added these levelers to make sure that it's perfectly level. So. Yep. So if you if you look at this thing, you know when you're when you're launching this, you're trying to figure out how to orient these relative to the ground. Whereas this guy gives you a these give you a go no go as far as you just look at the bubble, and if the bubble's in the middle, you're good. Whereas um, and then you still have the same functionality. This has a a tick mark. Um, yeah, if I can show it, a tick mark right here that uh, you set your angle to and then I, I won't show your I won't show his log book but he's got a log book uh, which is what you have what you're supposed to do that has all the has what is it three variables you've got uh, yeah we got um, tension we got tilt and then we also got angle so yeah and that's basically how you how you can have the the ultimate um, launch adjustments and unfortunately we in the um, AMA world don't get to have that because they won't let us have nice long launchers but Science Olympiads one uh, one thing they afford y'all is, is good launchers. Yeah. <laughs> Hi I'm Josh Finn this is Hope we are J&H Aerospace. If you like this video hit the like button. Also how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.